For today's video, we are going to have a basic introduction to conic sections. So when we say conic sections, it is a figure formed by the intersection of a plane and a right circular cone depending on the angle of the plane with respect to the cone. In algebra, there are so many things that we can grab, but there is one class of figures called conic sections that will be very important. For example, if we have a three-dimensional right circular double nap cone, we can create different two-dimensional figures by taking a plane and swiping to the cone in different ways. First, if the plane goes from one side of the cone to the other and it's parallel to the base, we can get a circle. And when we say circle, it is a locus of all points in the plane having the same positive distance called radius from a fixed point called center. Next, if the plane does the same thing but not parallel to the base, we can get an ellipse. And when we say ellipse, it is a locus of all points in the plane, the sum whose distances from two fixed points is a constant. Next, if the plane cuts from the side of the cone all the way down to the base, we can get a parabola. And when we say parabola, it is the locus of all points in the plane whose distances from fixed point and fixed line is called a constant. And lastly, if the plane cuts all the way from one base to another, we can get an hyperbola. Hyperbola, it is a locus of all points in the plane, the difference whose distances from two fixed points is a constant. So these are called conic sections because they are literally different cross sections of a cone. Conic sections can also describe using a parameter called eccentricity. That is the amount of conic section deviates from being perfectly circular. For a circle, the eccentricity is zero. For an ellipse, it's between zero to one. For parabola, it's precisely one. And for hyperbola, it's greater than one. So the fastest way to remember this one is by means of mnemonics, and that is CEP, that is C E P H. For a circle, that is zero, parabola, that is one, and ellipse, it's between zero to one, and for hyperbola, that is greater than one. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in studying conic sections. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.